Merle, the reports are in, and and people people aren't happy with how PvP is going. What are your solutions? I know. I will add more shadow pips. No, Merle, Merle, Merle. The, the, I think we've learned that shadow pips are 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 simply not the way. I will add more May casts. Merle, I, I I think what what they're looking for are innovative spells with cool mechanics. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 you know? Oh oh, I know what you mean. Like law? No no, no Merle. You, you mean like law? Merle, no. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? Awesome sauce here. Hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day, and welcome to a video that I've actually been wanting to make for a while, and this is only possible because of you guys. So a lot of you guys have actually been DMing me on Discord and Twitter with a lot of your spell ideas, so I thought, why not, you know, make a video reviewing some of the cooler ideas that I've seen. This video's ideas are brought to you by Anton. I'm gonna link the doc that he sent me so that, you know, more people can look at it if they want, and also, he has uh, other, like, so socials on that document so check out his Instagram and his other art if you want to support an artist within the community. Now without further ado one of the main reasons why I wanted to look at these spells is because I feel like they would add something really really cool to PvP and the game itself and I think they're very creative ideas that I actually haven't seen many people talk about so I hope you guys have as interesting of a time as I did when I read out all these cards when I was going through the doc. Anyways, that's in the description, so make sure you check it out if you want to see all the ideas. These are five of maybe 20, so you know, there's a lot of like, there's a lot there. Might do a part two if you guys want of Anton spells, because he wanted us to showcase it. So yo, brother, yo, let's get right into it. The first spell that really caught my eye, which I think this should be a, a spell, like I really, really do. First off, the art looks really, really awesome. The spell's called Time Time, and basically what it does, for two pips and a shadow pip, it basically just changes who is first using spells. Now, I do have a question about this, specifically for Anton. Maybe, you know, maybe he can answer the questions in the comments. But it says randomly change who's first use spells. I honestly think it would be better if it just just changed who's first. You know what I'm saying? Just like old Cobb does. Uh, literally for two pips and a shadow pip. I would love, I would love to use that to change the course of the battle. And honestly, if everyone were able to have this spell, I think it would actually be fair. You know, you wouldn't have 30 plus rounds where you have to react to moves from second. You could actually change that for yourself and only have it sometimes. It's actually, it would remind me a lot of Bubble Wars. And Bubble Wars aren't that broken. The people with the most bubbles will win the Bubble Wars, whether they're first or second. So the people with these spells packed a lot who prioritize going first will most probably win it. Now, the next spell, I really liked it because of the mechanics of it. So, you know, maybe not exactly the card itself, but the mechanics of it are a really cool idea. And this is something where I hope the, you know, people in the comments, you you guys should go off. Without further ado, my mans, I'll bag y'all. As you guys can see, the ritual spell is basically a thing where you need two wizards to use the spell at the same time. And what it basically does is increase your block by 80%. Now, I don't know how many rounds it would last. It seems like maybe just until the end of the fight. In which case, this would be a really, really cool spell. I think every school should get a ritual spell. And I really think that that would, like, be something, like, you, you should be able to, like, be able to combine ritual spells with different schools. I think the idea of you using the same type of spell on the same round, both of you, and getting benefits from it. That's something we do not see at all in this game, and it would completely bring back 2v2 if they did that. I think the idea of maybe having five more pierce for the rest of the fight, or maybe like five more resist, or 10 more damage, because both, both people on a team use the same spell. I think an idea like that would be really, really cool. And as long as you handled it well without making it too OP, I think it would increase the level of strategy that we'd see in 2v2. And I honestly think it would bring back 2v2 ranked in a way that we've never seen it before. And I, that, that would be awesome for me because I love 2v2. Now, for spell number three, bang yum! As you guys can see, the pip cost is eight pips for an astral spell. And seeing as there's no astral mastery amulet, Right now, there's actually no way to cast the spell. So I think this was a mistake on the part. I don't know. It's also it also has a shadow pip. Now I don't I'm not sure I agree with the pip cost at all. I think it being an astral spell is a great idea, but I think it should be like because no one has astral mastery, I think this should be closer to like maybe four pips and no shadow pips, or five pips and no shadow pips. Basically, the idea of this is that you summon an unhelpful minion 
to the side of your opponent. And I really, really like this, because very few people have sacrificed minion cards. In fact, I don't pack it on any of my wizards, almost at any level. It's very, very rare for me to have this spell. So for you to have a minion that's there, and you know, it's like doing things that are like not helpful to you the whole time. Now, I don't know how they would do this specifically. You know, maybe they're allowed to like infection you. Maybe they're allowed to weakness you. Maybe they're allowed to do all, the, all kinds of stuff. I feel like that would add a dynamic to PvP that I really, really want to see. I just think it would be funny. I just want it for the memes. Maybe not even a PvP spell if it's too broken, depending on what it does. But I also think it would be really, really great because I think it should be a myth spell anyways. I think it would be really cool if myth had that going for them because they're a minion class anyways. You know what I'm saying? I just like the spell because it brings minions back into PvP in a very creative way that I've never seen. And I definitely think it would make people rage if they're not careful about making sure their deck is ready for that kind of spell, bro. Now the fourth spell that we're reviewing is basically a Shadow Enchant. And that's something that I've been wanting to see in the game for a while because I feel like that's something we're just missing out when it comes to Shadow Magic. It's always some broken spells, but we never see enchants that really do anything. And what I like about this enchant is that basically it looks like you didn't enchant it, right? But what it ends up doing is adding 400 damage two rounds later almost like a burning rampage. Now what's cool about this is that if you're second, for example, it would give you a really, really cool way to catch your opponent off guard. Cause let's say they have a shield, right? And you hit, but let's say the shadow hit, right? Two rounds later, it triggers the shield and it's gone. Now you have a free open hit. And that doesn't actually work from first as easily as it would work from second because no one's expecting you to hit right into a shield, right? So I think it would be really, really cool just because it would give second place people an advantage. Another thing is that it's a very good trade-off. You know, if you have a 400 damage just randomly go two rounds later, you're essentially just casting an unenchanted hit. So you're casting an unenchanted hit for, for a possible payoff later. And I really like the idea of that. There aren't enough trade-offs in this game. A lot of spells nowadays that are broken are broken because there's no trade-off for them. Efreet is broken because you can do a ton of damage and have a minus 90 weakness on them so they can't hit back. They can't punish you for it. Lore is very similar in that way because it has a mantle and a weakness and it's very hard to punish a move where you fizzle half the time and where it's weak to begin with anyways. So this is really cool because there's an actual trade-off. There's an actual sacrifice that you're making and it brings the idea of shadow enchantments into the game in a way that, you know, I, I don't know, man. It, it could open up a lot of doors. Bad doors, but it could also open up good doors depending on how they handle it but if you guys have noticed a lot of these have been shadow spells and a lot of them don't really i don't think they would break the game necessarily so i think these are all cool ideas so far now let's get right into the final one my mans now the final one is a 10 pip death spell and it looks like a play on bugile except it's like crazy because basically it forces you to use your highest spell hit on yourself now here's the thing there are people who don't have hits in their main you know and i'm wondering how would that work? Like, you know, what would it force you to do? Could it force you just to blade yourself? The reason I like this is because it's almost like a dispel, but it's way worse because you do it on yourself. You do a spell on yourself. If you have blades up and you're getting ready to hit and someone just does this on you, you automatically will lose the game. That's why I think 10 pips is a nice amount for it. I honestly think 10 pips is a great amount because I don't think you would be doing something for 10 pips that easily that being said it could open up the door for all kinds of broken things like you know if people could just be spamming it and hoping you could just be relying you know on your opponent you know just having a high pip spell you know so that being said i definitely think it should be like a one-time use spell for pvp definitely and more importantly i do think that it should be something that if it were to work like, the person on the other side has to be smart enough to know that that's a possibility. So that might be expecting a lot out of our PvPers, you know? Because I don't think people are going to be happy just blading up and having, like, a Scion in their hand and the spell cast and they have to do it on themselves. That's a little harsh. That being said, they should have known and not had the Scion, you know? It would give depth an edge in PvP so that people would actually change up their strategies on the school. I know, crazy concept, people changing up their strategies when they go against a different school, but 
that would be the type of spell that it would be. And that, I'm always down for more diversity in PvP. And that's why I think this is a really, really cool idea. I just want to thank Anton for this video. The art is amazing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video too. I would love to hear more of your ideas. So if you make spells like this, make sure to DM me on Discord or Twitter. And I'd love to make a review of them just like this and show them to the rest of the community. You know what I'm saying, dude? Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what kind of spells you want to see. And let me know how you tweak the spells that you saw in this video. These kind of videos only work when you drop a comment letting us know what your opinions are. So be brave and don't feel sad. Don't feel bad about sharing your opinions. No one, everyone's, everyone's here to support you, all right? So let me know what you're thinking, brother. As always, guys, there's tons of links in the description besides just Anton's doc. There's my Twitch, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Discord. So go crazy with it, my man. Thank you for all the love. And if somebody has not told you you're awesome today, they doing something wrong. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a sub if you're new. And stay awesome, brother. Yeah, yeah. Thank you